why is this suit different than what is normally used in Hollywood? Well, in Hollywood, normally they use optical systems, which are a lot of cameras filming these reflective markers you have in your body. When three cameras can see a marker, it can place it in the room. So you need giant studios and you need tons of technicians working it, and you need all these cameras that cost millions. With this, we take sensors like you have in your cell phone, and then we replace all the markers with sensors. So you can put the entire studio on your body in a suit. You can wear that anywhere. And each of them has a gyro, an accelerometer, and a compass. And with those outputs, you can actually calculate the whole body. It's collected on a hub on my back, and then sent directly through Wi-Fi to a computer. So optical systems lose data because you, if you do like this, then it's gonna swap the arm and the leg, and there's because it doesn't know where it is on the body. With this, the right hand is always the right hand. So it sends a constant stream of data. So you never lose any data and you can use it yeah, anywhere. Okay, is this good enough quality for Hollywood to use? For 95% of what they want, this is good enough. Are people using it mostly for gaming or what are you seeing them using it for? So it's funny because this has so many use cases and is so accessible, we're actually seeing it's being used in tons of different varieties. So film, like high-end film studios have bought it, game studios from the higher level, but also like these indie game developers. And then a range of other people doing fitness or sports tracking, tracking their tennis serve or their golf swing. How much is this one? So this is 2,500 for the suit, including software, including anything. Well, let's go see how it looks. Do you yeah. want to show me? Yeah. Okay. So this is Frances. She's a principal dancer from the San Francisco Ballet. So we could turn her into a frog. Uh, we could place her in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> so basically this is run, this can run into, uh, we have native plugins for Unity, Unreal and Motion Builder, which is a biggest, so Unity, Unreal, game engines and Motion Builder is the most common animation tool. We also have our own software, which uh, is shown here, where you can record your movements and export in FBX, BVH, or CSV, so the standard formats, and then take that into whatever software you're working in. How many people have bought the motion capture suit so far? So we had 300 available for pre-orders, and they're all sold. Um, so now we're working on the next batch, and yeah, shipping. So uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of traction, which is great. Any of the major motion picture companies looking at something like this right now? Yeah, so we are already working with really, really high-end, but what's so interesting, also for me personally, is that we have democratized this technology to the smaller as well. So there are millions of game develop developers that work with 3D that could actually work with this right now. They just never considered it before because it hasn't been accessible.